the UTEP Miners. Not a team that typically we would spend a lot of time talking about, but my goodness, last year uh, we spent a lot of time talking about them. Dana DeMell took them bowling last year. Uh, went seven and six or six and seven. I don't remember either one. I've got it seven and six. I might have, I might have put that down wrong. Post game win expectancy last year, 7.69 and 4.31. So closer to eight wins as opposed to just seven. Uh, they did lose the bowl game. So there you go. Returning production is number 28 in the country here. That's definitely a good thing. However, they lose their biggest playmaker in Jacob Cowing. He transferred to Arizona. He's the wide receiver. Uh, looking at the offense here, Gavin Hardison is back, uh, along with the wide receivers Tyron Smith and Reynaldo Flores. Uh, can they remain explosive without the wide receivers Garrett and Cowing? I, you would think, you know, they're at least going to try. But I don't know. Those guys were, those guys were studs. The running back Ronald Awat returns along with four offensive linemen with a lot of experience. Risking success rate was number one twenty-seven though. You got to find consistency across the board here. They were number two in explosive play rate on offense last year. You got to be better than number 70 in PPA per drive. Uh, the defense is what held them up. They, the defense was really, really good early part of last year, but man, that schedule went bananas on them late. Uh, they averaged giving up 5.88 yards per play in the last five games of the season. They were more than five yards per play allowed in every single game in that stretch. They were number 25 in PPA per drive, though, and that shows you how good they were to start off the year. They got five defensive backs with 200-plus snaps returning, along with five defensive linemen with 300-plus snaps, but only two linebackers uh, are coming back. They Now, those those two linebackers, 799 snaps and 810 snaps. They returned four different players that had over 10 tackles for loss last year. They were not great against explosive offenses, but you you don't find a lot of those on the schedule this year. So that's definitely good. Uh, keys for the season, like, look, they went 7-0 against teams that uh, ranked 99th or worse in SB+, 0-6 against anyone better in 2021. Um, they're returning 15 starters, and the schedule is forgiving here. The team went bowling even with the number 123 turnover margin and number 124 in penalties per game. You got to fix that. You can't beat yourself here. I like this team. I think they're okay. I've got them at 6-6. Six and six. Uh, I think they... You know, I think they're going bowling again. I think Dana DeMell has built a pretty good culture here. Like, I really, really like this team. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you